Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. I wanted to come to you today to give you guys a crayon case full makeup tutorial. Now, I try to have every single thing crayon case, but if not, that portion of the video will not be shown. Um, we're gonna do a full face. A few years back on my channel, I did a crayon case makeup tutorial on the eyeshadow palette, the crayon box, I think it was called. I will link that somewhere here in the video. I didn't like that eyeshadow palette, but I just recently did a unboxing with all of these products. I will link it. And I said that I wanted to give Crayon Case another shot, so here we are. So if you wanna see this review as well as tutorial, then keep watching. And before we go any further, I would love for you guys to consider subscribing, clicking the notification bell, liking this video, leaving me a comment, and sharing with your friends because sharing is caring over here. All right, y'all, I feel good. Like, I feel real good. So every single thing is brand new. I did tell you guys in that unboxing that I wanted to save the swatches and all that stuff for this video here. So I did just open a highlighter concealer and this one is in 15. Oh, wow. Okay, she's like, oh, she squeezes. Okay, so I just squeezed her up, but she's like a real highlighter. So let's go ahead and squeeze some out. And I am gonna use a little bit for underneath my brow. I don't know if this is gonna be my perfect shade or not, but we're gonna try it. What she's giving. And if you guys don't know or are not familiar with me, I love to do my eyes first and then my face. The only time you will actually see me do my face first is when I am completely not wearing any eyeshadows. And so far I can see is that this color is a little bit goldeny, which is not really a bad problem, but it is pulling more on the orange side. All right, so for starters, we're looking pretty okay, right? Um, I do want, we don't have no primer neither. We have the washable eye glue stick, which is a eyeshadow primer, but we don't have no primer to set our face. So we are gonna, you know, go right into the eyes first. Oh, pretty cool. I thought it was gonna come out white. So, like I was saying, I'm gonna try this eye glue. Oops, I thought it would be brownish. I mean, I thought it was gonna be clear, but it actually came out almost the same color as the concealer. I don't know if I'm supposed to set it. I normally don't set. It looks a little shiny, can you guys tell? It says that this primer makes blending a breeze while securing your color so it doesn't increase or smudge. Very lightweight and easy to use. Just apply a little to your fingertip. Gently tap over your lid. Wait for the formula to dry and then apply your eyeshadow. I won't be doing any crazy looks today. Um, I just haven't been feeling like real crazy vibes, like colorful crazy vibes or anything. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. We do have two different eyeshadow palettes to be working with. We have the matte book as well as the new rule eyeshadow palette. This is the 12 nudes. I honestly don't think I wanna deal with the 12 nudes unless it's a shimmer color. So we're gonna set that to the side for now. So I am gonna use the, what are these called? The ink pen eyeshadow brushes and see what we can create. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna bring in some other eyeshadow brushes if need be, but for right now, I wanna use this 04. None of these have names at all, so I'm gonna go in with, these light, with this lightest one. I'm gonna place this all over to help blend 
out any other color I shall use. The hairs of the brushes is a tad bit too long. It's almost too long, you really can't control it. And that eyeshadow primer really didn't like dry like it's supposed to. It still had like a shimmer feel to it, but I can't say nothing bad about it as of yet. I just could tell that it didn't really like dry down. So let me show y'all what the palette is looking like. Can you see all of the fallout? That doesn't bother me, but to some people it does bother, bother them. Um, I'm going to take this color right here and apply it right here in the crease area. I'm not too much liking this brush. And we still are creasing as I could tell. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I'm still creasing right there. So now I'm gonna try to take this longer brush, the 01 brush, and I guess I could dip off into this one and try to put it right there in the crease. Oh, this is not the brush, you guys. Not this set of brushes, I would not recommend. It's not even placing the eyeshadow on. You can tell it's picking it up. Let's try the darker color. Oh, <laughs> y'all, that darker color just went ape shit. Like, look, wow, <sighs> let's blow some off. Mm -mm. I don't like the zero one brush. I can tell you guys that for a fact. I don't know about that, you guys. Um, let's take a flat brush, flat eyeshadow brush. Maybe I will dip off into the ruler palette. I always go for these type of shades right here, but I don't really want to go for that. Let's go for yard. Let's see what yard is given. I'm going to dip off into centimeter a little bit. Pop that on top. It just looks like it need a little bit of lifting. I'm not going to judge it just yet, but I think I need to come back and do 